This is my apology to atheists who have been watching my videos for atheists. From this point forward, I plan to make some changes, basically change my own rules on how I want to proceed with these videos. In particular, here's who I want to apologize and, and why. The whole goal in making these videos was to engage intelligent conversations with atheists who knew up front that I'm not an atheist who wanted to debate. That's the whole premise of the, of the thing. And what happens is, even though the min minority of the people watching the video are, are there for that reason, I wasn't paying enough attention to those people. What I was doing is I was paying more attention to the people who really wanted to debate or wanted to attempt to carry a negative tone and, and that sort of thing. I guess the, where I lost track was, often it was those people who were quite over the top. They would leave comments that would therefore sort of serve as good ideas, I thought, for new videos. So here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm now gonna focus on the 2%, the 5%. Those atheists who watch my videos, who truly want to engage in a conversation with the understanding that this is not a debate about the existence of God. We're not here to change each other's beliefs, but ultimately the goal is what can we agree on despite you being an atheist and despite me being a Christian, what can we agree on? So I will have topics that I bring up and I'm going to be looking for your responses. What's gonna happen, and I recognize this, and I, I needed this trial you know, by error, is I had to be able to, I needed the reminder. It's about the people that are of, again, the mindset who are actually here to share with me and that we can have an intelligent conversation despite what we disagree about, what can we agree about? I think that is the direction really I'm wanting to go with these videos for atheists. So what I'm gonna be doing is this. When I get a comment from someone who is on that level with me, that is the person who I'm going to be responding with as I comment back. I will comment back with you. I will be making videos based off of your comments. I understand that especially as I'm early on into this transition that I'm officially starting today, that what's gonna happen is, and this has been the case so far, the majority of the comments I get on most of my videos are people who are there basically just to, and as I've already been very clear, the comments are implying that I'm wrong, ignorant, or immoral. And so what, I've, what I'm telling you I'm gonna be doing different, if you leave a comment like that, you're welcome to do it. I'm just not going to respond to you. No matter what you say, I'm not going to respond if it feels like the intent is anything other than we're trying to have an intelligent conversation about the topic and find out what, what do we agree on. So if I see the comments aren't that way, what I might do at best is take out part of that comment and that might make a, a good idea. I'll take the positive part out of it. So I feel the best thing to do is to share with you an example of, of something how I would handle it differently now. So my apology is to those of you who came here for what I really intended to do with these videos, which is to have intelligent conversations where we're not debating, but we're seeing what can we agree on despite our different points of view. If you were here for that and I wasn't paying enough attention to you, I am sorry. And I'm wanting to change my videos to cater to you because you're the reason I was really starting this. Guys like Crazy Jesse and now a new subscriber, Imp Atheist. Perhaps my only two subscribers, if that's assuming Jesse subscribed, perhaps my only two subscribers that are atheists that watch my videos. I'm gonna be catering to you, guys like you and girls like you, if there's any females that uh, there actually are. I've, I've seen uh, that are females that are here to wanting to have that intelligent conversation despite what we disagree on. My apology, also is to the atheist out there who uh, have, we've, we've been in this mindset of you imply that I'm wrong, ignorant, or immoral, and then I respond by saying I'm wrong, ignorant, or immoral. I'm not gonna be focusing on those comments. Again, I'll be ignoring those. And what I'm even gonna be doing is, I'm gonna put a disclaimer, I guess, in every video moving forward, just by saying, look, if you're here to have this kind of conversation with me, we'll talk. If not, 
I won't even respond. I mean, I flat out will not respond. I will not say to anyone I'm wrong, ignorant, or immoral. I won't even say the part about this is a social experiment. I won't say the part about uh, how, you know, that you have poor time management skills or any of that. I'm just, what I, see, I have to, I had to go through all this to get to the point where I'd be okay with knowing that at least for right now, as I'm new to this change, I post a video with atheists in the title, it gets 100 views minimum within 24 hours. I have to be okay with knowing the majority of the people watching that video are not here to have that intelligent conversation. But what I hope is that the more I change my format and focus on that 2% or the 5%, that that eventually is what's gonna happen. Because I will tell you, as you all know, most of my videos on this channel are for helping guys psychologically sort out the fact that they're, they might be losing their hair. And I had a very similar character arc in managing those videos. Now, it's at a point where, you know, those videos usually get 300 views within 24 hours. And I've learned how to manage that. A lot of them are insecure about going bald. And so there's a lot of negativity that I've had to manage around, but I've been able to lead through that positively now compared to how I was, you know, two years ago. And I'm having that same character arc here with these atheist videos just with a much shorter timeline because I haven't been doing these atheist videos very long, but I'm already getting 100 views minimum within 24 hours. With the hair videos, it was a couple years before I got to where I'd even get 100. So I'm wanting to redirect this in a, in a much more positive way. I will put that disclaimer on there. But let me close this video by sharing an example of how I would have responded before this change versus how I'm going to move forward uh, from this point out. Here we go. So I'm looking at a comment that I received. Again, I'm using, I know that it's ironic that I'm using an example that I will not be referring to anymore, but just to sort of show the shift in what I'm wanting to do with these videos. I mean, the most recent video I posted before this one about atheists was, it said, atheists are less likely to get divorced or end up in prison, which apparently those statistics are true. And I explained my version of why that is. And I said it has more to do with demographics than anything. That was my response. You're welcome to watch the video if you like. But here's a response I got from, from someone. And here's how it started out, and I was happy when I saw this. Quote, Nick, all the atheists I know are married with children. I have been married 28 years. I'm not for or against suicide. The person who thinks suicide is the answer may have no help, or there may be no one to talk to. So if we just looked at that opening paragraph, immediately I can think, wow, uh, it's easy for me to agree with that. Like I can connect with this person and I was happy. I was like, okay, here's another imp atheist. Here's another crazy Jesse. I like this person. I'm glad they're here. I've never heard of this person. Glad they're here. But if you continue reading, you see that the shift changes. The old me would, well, I think I already did because this is before I made the change. The old me would have reacted to what comes next. So this is the kind of thing from now on I will not comment back on. If I made a video based on it, I wouldn't be, I would just completely ignore the, the negative part and just focus on the part that I can agree with them on. Because that's the whole goal. Go. What can we agree on despite what we know we obviously disagree on? So uh, checking out, uh, so after they just said that about what we, okay, yeah, they said it's their choice to end their life. They have the control not you for them. Okay. But then here's the shift. Your tiny little brain can't handle that. There is no other person beside your own self to help you guide through this world. And then they go on and basically tell me that again, I'm wrong, ignorant, immoral, et cetera, because I'm not an atheist. So again, moving forward, how I will handle this as a comment, I won't even respond to it if I see that that's where the conversation is going. But if I can glean something positive and say, hey, you're an atheist, I can agree with you, we can agree on this, let's celebrate the fact that we can agree on something. That is really what I want this channel to be. What I wanna see is that whereas right now, and, I, and I'm not exaggerating the numbers, I really do feel it's somewhere around two to 5% of people who are really wanting to be here and watch these videos to find out what we can actually agree on and it be a positive thing and not be the whole bipolarization thing about you're the bad guy and I'm the good guy. I don't want any of that. I really, but the reason I'm apologizing is because that's part of the learning curve for me. I had 
I had to make all those other videos. I had to break a few eggs in the process of making this omelet that's gonna be these video series for atheists. I had to be able to do that to get to where I can move forward here in season two to now put that disclaimer on there, to now ignore all the negative uh, comments and to only focus on the positive. Uh, and so I'm excited about this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So forgive me uh, for having to practice on you and to make the mistakes and for this to kind of be messy. But what I look at too is I'm doing something right. It's not a coincidence that I can make a video and it gets at least 100 views within 24 hours. I have a following and I want to make that a more positive uh, experience. And if I can find it, because remember I don't, as you know, I don't edit my videos, but I just want to share this comment with you. And speaking of Imp Atheist, if I can find this comment, I want to share this with you because I'm telling you, between Crazy Jesse and Imp Atheist, this is really who I want to be watching the videos and I want to be engaging with. So let me just end officially by reading this from Imp Atheist on uh, a video I made called Atheists Are Not Emotionally Intelligent. Try to prove me that I'm wrong. See, even in that title now, in hindsight, I can say, okay, yes, I was catering to the negative, not to the positive. Here's Imp Atheist. Quote, seems to be a theme when I watch your videos. While I disagree with you in some areas, you seem to be genuine and empathetic. I finally just subscribed. So, uh, you know, and I responded there. I said, I very much appreciate interacting with you. As of today, I decided to start ignoring the majority of the comments I received, as most of them are from atheists looking for a conflict. I want to cater to viewers like you instead. So there you go. There's my change of heart, my change of direction uh, with, with these videos. I think from, and I actually, what's funny is I've already filmed like three or four other videos before I made this. I'm just going to scrap those videos and I'm going to only make new videos on this. And we can talk about some things that I think are largely edgy, maybe controversial, like the fact that I think it's strange that there would be atheists that voted for Donald Trump. That's weird to me. I don't want to make a video to be controversial, but I want to make that video. I want to understand. It seems most atheists would not be Trump supporters. That's interesting to me. Another one, Joshua Harris, the guy that had that book, uh, I Kissed Dating Goodbye, and was all about all that. And now recently he left, he was a pastor of a church. He left his church. He divorced his wife. And he's, he was uh, very uh, prominent at the gay parade in, in, in Canada and in sharing the brain with cupcake. That's interesting. I want to explore that. I, the fact, how does that change the dynamic with his family who is, who is from a large Christian family? Those are interesting conversations that I want to have in an intelligent way that are not a debate, that are not involving high conflict personality. So those are some things I really want to be interesting and be edgy and be engaging, but be positive. So again, I'm sorry that you've had to watch this character arc for me to get here. But at the same time, I recognize that that's often how it is. It's a matter of being vulnerable, being honest, being upfront in, in what's going on here. Perhaps the last thing I should do, and, and I think part of the fault is that sometimes I'm too upfront uh, and that therefore it runs a lot of people away or they trust my, my intent. Uh, you know, I, I think in closing, this is like the third closing I've said, but I think it's important to acknowledge that ultimately we're engaging in a form of entertainment. We're engaging in a form of interaction. And I think in knowing that and embracing that, this isn't the real world. We're, we don't know each other in real life. And through this Wonka vision of YouTube, often things get reduced to a very elementary sort of mindset. And what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to raise the IQ, not just the emotional intelligence level, but the, the IQ level, the interaction level. I want to I want to raise that. And I think with me having people who are going to be watching my videos anyway, I think it's a matter of now I've learned from my mistakes enough to where I can guide this, these videos in the way that they need to go. So I want to, <laughs> is this like the fifth time I've said I want to close with the final thing I'm saying? Because I don't make videos over 15 minutes long. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting me. Though I've made wrong turns and, and awkward situations along the way, I think that we are going to see the quality improve and the experience improve. Thank you for being here. Again, I'm sorry that I had to learn through these mistakes, but I'm glad you're here and I'm excited to see where this thing goes. Feel free to leave a comment, 
but also look at the disclaimer that I'm gonna start adding as well so that we're on the same page.